Hi everybody! Lovely to see you all in the weird digital realm. Um, so I'm going to tell you about a dream I had last night. Um, last night I dreamed about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I kid you not. I spent <laughs> I spent this morning waking up trying to figure out what happened in the dream, um, but all I can really remember was the seven dwarves names. So I woke up thinking about the seven dwarves and there's Grumpy and there's Dopey and there's Sneezy and Happy. I think Happy's the only one with a nice name. All the others kind of picks upon a character fault and makes that the thing and I'm not sure what I think about that. But all these seven dwarves have a name and it makes sense because Grumpy is called Grumpy because he's Grumpy. Um, Dopey is called Dopey, as far as I can tell, because he's really stupid. Happy is just jolly and happy, which is quite nice. So we all have these characters summed up in this one word, which is then their name. So the obvious question that made me ask is, what would be my dwarf name? What would it be? Would it be Ginge? <laughs> Ginger? Would it be, would it be Stubborn? Um, my, my wife suggested Bouncy would be quite nice. I'd be Bouncy, which I quite like that. What would be my dwarf name? And it's really hard because to have a dwarf name, you've got to pick up on all of the different things about yourself and wedge them through this ridiculous funneled bottleneck and come out with one tiny thing. And I don't know if I'm okay with that because I'm not just one thing. I don't know about you, but when someone says summarise yourself in one word, I just can't do it. If someone says summarise yourself in three words, I struggle. Five words getting closer. But there's so many things I care about. I'm wearing my hiking t-shirt and hat today, even though I can't go hiking right now. And it's because hiking is part of who I am. I've got guitars and drums and things around me in this room because music is part of what I am. I've got bikes in the other room, because that's part of what I am. I like painting, I've got youth work, I've got writing, there's all kinds of things that are part of who I am. So who said I was supposed to be one thing? Do you know what I mean? If you tried to have a dwarf name, if you just tuned in, sorry, I've been talking about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you've got a dwarf name, it assumes that you're kind of one thing, like you're always grumpy, or you're always dopey, or you're always ginger. Maybe I get away with that one. Oh, my hair's full. No, I won't take my hat off. But I'm not one thing. And I don't know about you, but it feels sometimes like the world is telling you you have to um, focus on just one part of your character, on one dream, on one vision, on one thing that you're good at, and pursue that relentlessly and give up on everything else. Just be that one thing and be that one thing brilliantly. And I get what people are saying, but... I just don't feel like I'm like that. I don't know about you, but I don't like being one thing. Like, isn't there many dreams and many ideas that we've got that we want to explore? And it made me think, did God make us for one thing? Did God make us to be people who only ever paint in one colour? Did God make us to be people who only ever had one kind of personality characteristic? I don't think he did. God is an immensely creative artist. He used every colour in his Lego box. He used every single weird piece to make me and to make you. And I think God wants us to celebrate all the things we are. So having a seven dwarf name, a single word to summarise you, I don't think is good enough. There's a... Um, there's a TED Talk. Have you ever looked up TED Talks? They're brilliant. A lot of them are brilliant. There's one of my favourite TED Talks. I can't remember who did it. It'll come back to me. Um, they use the word multipotentialite. They say they are a multipotentialite, someone who likes lots of things, multiple potentials. They like doing lots of different things. They are a multipotentialite. And I feel like I'm a multipotentialite, and maybe you are too. And I think we should celebrate that. So I want to encourage you today, do all of the things. Do all of the things, because frankly, you're young enough, I think I'm still young enough, to, to just explore and explore the wonderful world God gave us, explore all the different quirks and things that we love. 
Pursue healthy things, pursue good things, things that uplift people and don't alienate people. Don't be a bully, don't be a jerk, fine, but do all of the things. Don't get hyper-specific. Don't get hyper-specific or hyper-focused just yet. I really think God tells us not just to... I don't think he tells us to specialise too quickly. I think God wants us to love lots of things. So my encouragement is don't let the world give you a dwarf name. Don't let your social media presence or your YouTube channel or whatever it might be tell you you have to be one thing. Be all of the things. Do all of the things. Because I think God has called us to paint in all colours and to be ridiculously creative people. Maybe that's just me, but hopefully it's you too. Um, oh, oh, wait, I have a dwarf. Um, if you were here at the beginning, I said seven dwarves were in my dream. And I tried to find some dwarves, and this is what I could find. This is more of a gnome, and this gnome is called Derek. Say hi, Derek. And this was a hoodie that my wife made into a doorstop. So this is Derek, the doorstop. <laughs> and that's it so have a brilliant day have a brilliant week remember it's uh, shuffle and shake on friday night uh seven o'clock and it's redefined on sunday night seven o'clock on zoom uh send us messages and we'll send you the links for those uh hope you guys are doing brilliantly we miss you and we'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>